December and most importantly, happy Vlogmas. I can't believe it's been a year since last Vlogmas and I'm sure everyone else doing Vlogmas has said this and you guys are probably sick of hearing it, but I can't believe how quick a year has gone and how much has like changed and how different life is now than it was a year ago. I feel like now I'm in my 20s, the next 10 years of my life are probably going to be the most important 10 years of my life. But that's kind of a deep subject to get onto. On a lighter note, I've got a cold. Apologies. I feel like the first day of Vlogmas or any kind of like, or Vlogtober or anything like that, um, the first day is the day that's going to either get people to keep watching or not. And I feel really annoyed that I've got a cold. Yesterday was such a busy, hectic day. I did feel ill, but um, I still got out and did lots of stuff. And I've managed to get myself up today. I've done my makeup. I've just bunged a jumper and leggings on. Um, so I've, I've got myself up, but there's no need for me to leave the house. So I'm just going to stay in today and edit videos. I wanted to film a video, but I really don't feel up to it. So I've got other videos that I can put up. I should have brought you around with me yesterday. Yesterday was a good day. I can't believe I'm ill again. Beginning of last Vlogmas, I was ill. Beginning of Vlogtober, I was ill. Typical. I wasn't ill all summer. Then I went to 30 Seconds to Mars concert last Saturday, which is a video that I need to get up today. And I didn't take my hand sanitizer gel with me. And I said to Doug on the tube, oh my god, I forgot my hand sanitizer stuff. This is the only stuff I swear has stopped me getting ill over the last six months. I bet you anything that I will get ill. And a few days later, I wasn't, and I was like, yes. And a week later, I'm ill. Um, but it's way better than having that sick bug I had last December. That was horrific. This is just a cold. And I'd rather have it now than on my birthday, which is like 21 days away. Ooh, I'm wearing this jumper, which is actually from Top Man. I bought this jumper for Doug's little brother Ali last Christmas and uh, he's grown out of it but to be honest I think it's been shrunk in the wash a bit because it wasn't this small and I can tell by the material that it's been shrunk. Doug's mum gave it back to Doug and said oh do you want to wear it because um, Doug's a little bit smaller um, but it doesn't really fit him either so he's given it to me so I'm just gonna wear it. I don't really mind because I knew that Ali wouldn't you know, be able to wear it forever because he's still a growing lad. I did plan on getting up fairly early. That didn't really happen. I got up at about half eleven. It's now half twelve and I've just got ready, like I said. I actually managed to get to bed by myself before midnight last night. That is an achievement. I feel like I'm slowly sort of getting myself together and being like a normal person with my sleep pattern. Doug's currently in Wales. He went there yesterday. He went to do some white walk. Wa I can't talk with a cold. He went to do some white water rafting and then go for a night out in Cardiff with all his mates. He should be coming back today, probably late. So I thought, oh, I'll get up at nine, but because I felt so groggy when I got up, I just stayed in bed. Uh, oh, I got a new phone, by the way. Uh, yeah, I got the 5C. I don't really like any of the coloured ones. I don't really like the case I've got for this, but um, I'd rather have a case than break it. I got this on contract. I think just buy it. I can't afford to buy a brand new iPhone. Um, I got it on contract. It's like... £42 a month or something with O2, which is a lot, but then I'm paying more for data because um, I use up a lot of 3G. And the cool thing about this is that I went to Ikea the other day and for the first time ever I picked up 4G. 4G! But I'm not actually paying more for 4G, which is cool. But yeah, I got a new phone because the other one just didn't work. So I sent my other phone off to Envirophone and I should get at least 100 or something pounds for it, which is cool because it's completely broken, but I'm still going to get some money for a broken phone. Uh, so I can't really complain. Right now, I'm going to make myself some breakfast because obviously I've just got up. And I want to try out a new recipe from Blogger Lattes, which is a YouTuber. She does like fitness stuff and she does some really yummy recipes as well. I can't remember what it is, so I'm going to look up the recipe and then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to cook it. So the recipe that I'm going to... I hear my mouth. And the recipe that I'm going to try out is the banana berry crepes or crepes or whatever you want to call them. So this is a apparently what you need so some almond milk some oats some stevia which i think truvia is similar i'm not too sure an egg a banana some cinnamon and some strawberries or i think you can do whatever kind of fruit you want i bought one of these yesterday from argos 19.99 and i've already used it once and i'm already in love with it it comes with lots of little bits and bobs 
um, to go with it but the one I'll probably use the most is this one and this is the blade you use for blending you just put your stuff in, you screw that on and then you turn it upside down and pop that on there and it blends it really well actually for something that's only 20 quid I'm going to be using it today to blend up this stuff everything's done in cups on her website which is really annoying because here in the UK we don't really use cups so I've roughly translated it into tablespoons and I just hope that I get the measurements right So I've got the oats and the cinnamon in there. I'm going to turn it upside down and we're going to blend. Oh, I can't do it one handed. <laughs> there we go. We've got a nice fine powder. And now, okay, so it's really hard to do one handed. So now I think then we just put all the other ingredients in. Yeah, I couldn't find a smaller knife. So this is going to have to do. <laughs> There we go, there's our uh, hopefully grapes in there. I'm going to spray some of this on the pan. I got it ages ago and I use it every now and again, but I'm not really a fan of it. Because look, you do like one spray. Like that doesn't really cover the pan. I prefer the ones that are like mist, where, you, where it's like a, just a mist spray. So I might try to find one of those because I really don't like this, but I'm trying to just use this up. So I'm just going to... See, look, and it goes everywhere and then i think that's it i just need to chop up some strawberries and the banana so i think oh look at this one <laughs> that is a really weird strawberry the moment of truth i meant to spread it out a bit so it's thin so i'm going to chop these strawberries up and oh my god i tried that straw trick i saw this trick online where if you put like a straw to the bottom here it, it just like pulls the um that annoying green bit out so you don't have to cut away loads of the strawberry and it actually worked i mean they look a bit funny afterwards but still it actually worked try it it's like a miracle why have i never known this so i'm going to chop these up chop the rest of the banana up <laughs> I'm getting a little bit nervous about this because I don't really have very good non-stick pans and uh, like it's not doing the whole slidey slidey thing. Okay, the other one completely failed. Maybe I was being impatient, but I think it was just getting stuck to the pan. So what I've done is I've actually just put some normal olive oil in the pan. Obviously that looks more like a pancake than a crepe or crepe or whatever, but um, I feel like it's going to cook better. I think we have success with this one. Lady of Vlogger Lattes, Cassie, she said that you can add some Greek yogurt and some honey. Or I could put some golden syrup. Hmm, which one? I'm tempted to go for golden syrup because I'm not watching my weight, so... I don't have to completely follow the recipe. Okay, not quite how Cassie Ho does them because um, I can only make little ones. Well, that was blimmin' delicious. That was so tasty. Some of you might not know this, but as well as my nose piercing, I have my septum pierced, which is that one there. I had mine done over two years ago, maybe, and I never have it out because it just looks... I don't really like the way it looks with my nose ring and I can't take my nose ring out, but I don't want to take it out because as soon as I take it out it'll heal like that and I don't know like I like having it so I just have it flipped up spending the majority of the day with it out because I keep having to blow my nose and every time I blow my nose I have to pull it down and I'm having to blow my nose every like minute so I thought I would show you guys I'll probably put it back up for the rest of the vlog but um I thought I would just show you guys for those of you who don't know that I have it some of you will probably be disgusted by it and absolutely hate it it looks wonky because this keeps moving but it is really straight the person who did it did a really, really good job. So I've had quite a few tweets and Instagrams from people um, telling me they're going to be sending me stuff to my PO box, which I'm really excited about. My first letter the other day, I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys or not. I know I did in my PO box video on my main channel, um, but I don't think I did on a vlog. So yeah, I got a cute little cupcake card from a lovely girl called Izzy, and she's from Cardiff. I need to go buy some... Um, paper for me to write some letters on i've got some envelopes but they're not very nice envelopes so i might get some nice envelopes i'm just sat here now editing 
and my internet for some reason doesn't want to work so hopefully I can sort that out by the time I need to upload the video but I'm just sat here editing the 30 seconds to Mars vlog from well, it was over a week ago now such a good concert I'm so glad I saw them again and I watched them all the way to the end it's really annoying because my battery ran out I managed to get pretty much most of the concert which was cool um, but I couldn't film anything afterwards hi to anyone that saw me there I got recognised when I was in the restaurant having lunch and then when I walked into the O2 I got recognised by a lovely little blonde girl, um, I oh, don't know her name but I follow her on Instagram and there's a picture of me and her on her Instagram um, and then I was walking along through, if you've been to the O2 there's loads of restaurants on your way to walk into like the arena and I bumped into another person who was outside waiting to get into I'm not sure what restaurant it was, um, but they were waiting to get into a restaurant and I just heard, Rhiannon! <laughs> and I said hi and then I had a picture with her as well and uh, the like bouncer, security guard people were like, excuse me, you're blocking the way. And she was like, can I just have a picture with her please? And I think everyone in the queue was like, who is this girl? Like, why does she want a picture with her? And then whilst I was queuing for 30 seconds to Mars, I got recognised a ton of times. I think it was the first time I've ever been recognised that many times in one day. It was so cool, but kind of surreal. I mean, there were people taking photos over the shoulder of me. Well, I say people, I say like one or two people. Um, Doug was like, um, I don't know, I think there's someone trying to take a photo of you. And they were like, sneakily, sneakily, like trying to do it. <laughs> so like, guys, if you see me, come and say hi. I honestly don't mind. Um, you don't have to like take sneaky photos <laughs> Me behind your back. So yeah, anyway, I'm just editing this footage and oh, it just, I want to go again. I want to go so bad again. There's a gathering at um, Regent's Park on Saturday the 14th. Um, some of you guys might be going. I'll link all the info to like the Facebook page down below. I'm 90% sure that I'm gonna go. But it's called Festive Gathering and it's in Regent's Park in London. So it's fairly easy to get to. So if I go to that, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so you know you're growing up when you spend Sunday night looking at which tea towels you'd want to buy. Mm. I just finished dinner, I am stuffed. And yes, there is a little miniature Christmas tree in the background. I bought it at Ikea and it's going to go up in my office, um, but I'm not gonna show you too much. I also have down here a big box of stuff from Ikea, which is um, stuff to like deck out my bedroom and things for Christmas but I've just remembered that it's the 1st of December which means I get to open my advent calendar got myself a little me to you bear one so, so we open it just realised though this doesn't have a day 25 but Doug's does see Doug's got a big one for 25 so number one is down here <laughs> ooh what could it be what the heck is that? I have no idea what that is. Oh well, I'm going to enjoy it anyway. I'm just laying in here, snuggled up on my bed. Just gone 10 and I'm feeling rubbish and I'm starting to get tummy ache. I really hope this doesn't turn into like a bad stomach bug. Doug should be home in about an hour and a bit. I hope I feel better tomorrow. The chances are that tomorrow will be my worst day. Hopefully today was my worst day. But, I don't know, it'll probably be tomorrow. I'm just going to get into bed. I'm probably going to get into my snuggly dressing gown. I shall see you guys tomorrow. And I'm sure tomorrow will be a lot more interesting than it has been today. I'm sorry. I did not plan on getting ill. I should have vlogged yesterday because yesterday was a lot better. But I'm sorry, I can't help that. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the first day of Vlogmas. It will get better from here on. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.